All right, let's smash the maxi nurdle. We got 24 divided by 6 plus 3 times 1 equals 7. Okay, a little bit of information here. We got division, which is a little scary. This is going to have to equal at least a double digit number. Uh, only three numbers so far, so we'd like to get a bunch more numbers in. Division can't go here, which seems like a pretty reasonable place for it to go. So maybe I do like a double digit here divided by something. Maybe like a really big double digit number here. So like, let's just go 98 minus, and then it has to equal a double digit number at the end. Um, so I can do a double digit number here. Let's use some of the numbers we have here. Oh, 63 is divisible by 7. And that would equal something in the 80s. Uh, it can't be 63 here though, unfortunately. Oh, that would have been nice. Because the 6 can't go there. So, um, I don't know. I could do 78 up front, I guess. 78 minus, I was just thinking I wanted to use a 9 here. What was I going to do? 36 divided by 9 was my thought. 36 divided by... 9, and that's going to equal 74. That's fine. That's fine for the time being. I just want to check the structure. It gets a couple new numbers in, move some numbers around. Okay, so that is the structure. Felt felt good, for sure. Um, place the 7, which is good. There's not another 7. There are 9 and an 8 in the puzzle. Still haven't tried 5 or 0. We're missing two numbers, potentially. Okay, maybe I try the... It equals something in the 70s, so... Actually, this is probably 80-something. Uh, and it's probably something in the low 80s, because we're subtracting something after we divided it. So it's... Pr this is... this A double digit divided by a single digit is going to equal a single digit number, so... To get into the 70s, if it's not already in the 70s, I think it has to be in the 80s. Uh, okay, this can't be a 6. This could be 90-something divided by something. And then it could actually be a pretty substantial number. What could we be dividing by, though? I could do like 95 divided by 5. And that would be like, no, nah, that's too big, actually. All right, what number can go here? Maybe I'll just do 50-something. 50 56. Uh, 6 can't go there. Okay, so what number can go here? I feel like it has to be 90-something. Um, but that makes the number pretty big that we're subtracting, so I don't know if 83 works. Hmm. Uh, I might just get a not, I might just get a, a zero and a five involved. What if I did ninety divided by five? That's still pretty huge. Uh, that's too big of a number. Eighteen. So we're not going to be in the seventies. So maybe this could be ninety something. Let's go ninety three here. Maybe this will be easier because now. So if I make this eighty, I'm subtracting sixteen. That would equal seventy seven. I just want to try the two numbers that we haven't tried yet. I'm moving some numbers around. This is, can't be the answer, but it seems reasonable. So this, this is going to equal 77. I know I can't have a 7 there, so it's not great, but... I was that close, so it's 85, and this is going to be 76. Wow. Okay, that was very close. Should have just thought about this for another second, probably, but you got a lot of information out of that, so it's good. Uh, 85 divided by 5 equals 70. Six. And there it is. That's a maxi nurdle. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.